The objective of this lesson is to solve and explain real-world problems involving multiplication of fractions and mixed numbers in a task form. Three teams of fifth graders were given the task of each making a doghouse. One team made a house for a large dog, one made a house for a medium-sized dog, and one made a house for a small dog. The house Team A made was five-fourths the size of the one that Team B made. The house that Team C made was one-half the size of the house that Team B made. Let's reread the task, picking out the important information and constructing a chart or table to organize our information. Three teams of fifth graders would give us three columns, Team A, B, and C. The house that Team A made was five-fourths the size of the one that Team B made. The wording five-fourths the size of means five-fourths times B. The house that Team C made was half the size of the house that Team B made. In the third column, write the expression one-half times B. We don't know anything about B's measurements except that the other houses built Use the measurement to explain the sizes. Put B in the middle column. If we give B the value of 2, we can then plug in the values for B and evaluate each expression. After we evaluate the expression, we can see that Team A's doghouse was the biggest, Team B was the middle size, and Team C was the smallest. Question number two of the doghouse task states, the width of Team B's doghouse was three feet. Using the same chart method, we can now change the value of B from two to three and evaluate the new expressions. Five-fourths times three is 15-fourths, or three and three-fourths. Team C's is one-half times three, or three-halves, or one and one half. Question number three wants to an explanation of why multiplying three times one half is smaller than three. We can draw a model to record our reasoning. Using the area model, start with three rows because we have three holes. We will need to only use half of the column so draw a line down the center of the column and label each side one half. Then color in half of the column. We have three one-half groups, or one and a half total, which shows our reasoning. Question four of the task states, the width of the opening of each doghouse can be one-third or one-half of the width of the doghouse. Record the multiplication equation that will tell how wide the opening is for each of these possibilities and include the appropriate label on each. Look at the statement in the first row of the chart. Remember that the word of means to multiply. Write the beginning of an expression for each team. Use the fraction and change the of to a multiplication sign in each row. Then add the width from question two to the end of the expression. Team A's width is three and three-fourths. Team B's width is three. Team C's width is one and one-half. Now let's evaluate the expression to find the width of each doghouse. Question five of the task wants us to describe how the student could mathematically represent the equivalence of one-half equals four-eighths. If you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, you create an equivalent fraction. By multiplying the numerator and the denominator by four, we've created four-eighths. The objective for this lesson was to solve and explain real-world problems involving multiplication of fractions and mixed numbers in a task form. We met this objective by figuring out fractional and mixed number dimensions to three different doghouses and drawing the models.